Hey guys, today I would like to introduce you to a search engine that goes by the name of Cirx. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how I'm going to, what I'm going to go with today. And you can find it at cirx.me. Now, this is an open source search engine of sorts. It's not a full search engine. In fact, it tells you more about it on the about page. Uh, it's a meta search engine. So what it does is that it, it piggybacks off of the likes of Google, uh, you know, DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, all those other search engines. In fact, I think DuckDuckGo even uses like Yandex and 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 Bing and other things as well. So uh, a meta search engine basically uses other search engines, and in a way, almost acts as a proxy between you and that search engine. So you go to a website like the meta search engine, you tell it what you want to find, and then it will then that search engine will then go to Google, Yahoo, whatever. And then, you know, distill the information from there. So it's considered like an extra layer. And one of the reasons I'm talking about Cirques today is because there aren't really many open source search engines, certainly not like proper ones like Google, because the uh, to crawl the internet and to find the information required is just something that requires a lot of money. And, and of course, Google have a lot of money. And uh, it's quite interesting because uh, for as long as we, for, for as long as I've used the internet, there ha there have been search engines. It's something that I and I'm sure I'm not the only one have taken for granted over the years. Because, uh, yeah, you know, granted, maybe ten, fifteen years ago, the internet was so much of a, a smaller place. Building a search engine for it was was a lot more doable. But now we have thousands of of web pages being created every second. It seems with the internet. So, um. Yeah, like it, it just stands to reason that a search engine would be a big project, if not now, then then has always been. So I think when it comes to people who want to support open source software, people who want to support the open source community and open source alternatives, are really strapped here and are going to have to look at things like meta search engines if you want any kind of functionality on a par with Google or on, on Yahoo or Bing or anyone else like that. So I've been playing around with Cirques. Now Cirques provide their, their source code here on GitHub under the AGPL license. So this is, I believe it is a um, modified version of the GNU public license, I think. So um, it explains a little bit more here and, um, and uh, there's that. So, uh, and also one of the things that I really do like about Cirques is that it does encourage you to take the code and then build your own instance, which is very much in the spirit of open source as well as, you know, by the letter of open source. So, you know, the idea of open source is that software is to be shared. And if you've got it siloed on a server that you're only going to use in one use case in one instance, then uh, open sourcing it is really only a security provision, if, if nothing else. Whereas when you encourage people to share and use the code in all different kinds of environments and therefore, uh, you know, sharing the wealth, as it were, you generally, you're, you know, the idea is that you get a more federated and then stronger system. And here is the list of public instances. So it even actually keeps a record of all the other instances where Cirques or the, the Cirques search engine uh, is installed. And it's quite a few. So it genuinely seeks to allow people to um, regain control over their information and their privacy and, the, and their online identity and all that kind of stuff as well. So all in all, it's like it's really quite a good search engine. So let's have a look at some of the more uh, practical elements of it. So uh, in, the, in the preferences, first off, you've got a, a fair number of customized uh, cu um, customization options in regard to how it looks, language settings, it gives you a choice between uh, English GB and English US and all the different types of English. I really like that quite a lot. It might be a small issue for for, for others, but uh, but I do always appreciate it when English GB is catered for. It's the keyboards, you see, we have slightly different keyboard layouts, not necessarily different enough for everyone to sit up and take notice, but different enough that once in a blue moon, you'll... Um, you know, it, it'll trip you up. So yeah, it gives you lots of uh, options here, whether or not to open, you know, re results in new tabs, safe search. I like the safe search is off um, usually because safe search I always find just gets in the way of finding information. Um, I think DuckDuckGo have it as an on by default. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess that's just a, just a, just a preference there. Um, and then, yeah, you've got some themes, you've got some color styles. Uh, you've got, uh, you can choose all the different engines that the meta search engine uh, uses. So um, 
So this is the default selection. I haven't changed it. Um, but you've got uh, you've got Google there. You've got Wikidata, Currency, Bing, Wikipedia. So, so it keeps it as a reasonably reserved and conservative list of search engines that it uses. But then you can use you can you can search archive.is for example. Uh, there you can search Reddit. LX Quick is there, and Yahoo is there as well. So, um, so you can also select those. So that's pretty good as well. Um, and then you've got a few other uh, options here. You've got like uh, you know some cookies. Um, not entirely sure what this is, um, and then uh, and then some uh, plug-in options there, like for example, uh, infinite scroll and what have you. So it's pretty customizable, which is um, which is to be commended, and also I guess to a degree expected in regards to open source software. There is generally this idea of uh, and sense of customizability in the uh, the community as a whole. So it would make sense that it would uh, it would appear in uh search engines like this but yeah so uh today i just wanted to introduce you to search uh, uh Cirques. um some of you guys on mastodon have been asking for a video about it in terms of its usefulness completely in terms of the the practicality of the situation Cirques is generally pretty good it doesn't obviously give you customized um search results but then again i use duckduckgo and that doesn't give you customized search results so um you tend to get used to searching for specific terms around that so it, to be honest customized search um results aren't really as valuable as I initially you know as they might initially appear because over time you're you're you become uh, more knowledgeable about the sort of terms that you need your for want of a better expression Google foo becomes a little bit better to compensate for it but yeah um, you don't get the 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 specificity um, that you do get if you go to the search engines directly, but I do find that it's passable. It does the job. It works well enough for me. And the expanded options and the 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 uh, there are increased numbers of options for for um, you know micro you know, for, for sort of like micromanaging your search. The advanced search features are actually quite good on this. Um, I I think better than pretty much any other search engine. So. Even though you don't have that 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 um, level of algorithmic customization, you still do have more options than the average search engine. So, um, yeah, in terms of its actual, is it a good search engine? Um, generally, yes, yeah. Um, I think there are times that I would lean towards DuckDuckGo over this one. DuckDuckGo has has the bang shortcuts where if you're just searching for something in DuckDuckGo and you can't find something, you can just put an exclamation mark YT if you want to search YouTube or an exclamation mark G if you want to search Google. I think you could even do things like start page and, and, and all that kind of stuff as well. But uh, but yeah, one of the big criticisms, of course, of like non-Google search engines is that they're just not as good as Google. And um, there's been some time since I use Google, so I can't necessarily be an authority on that but I've certainly found that Cirques covers you know my uses for it and I use a search engine dozens of times a day so uh, so yeah I'll probably switch between this and DuckDuckGo um, but uh, but all in all yeah pretty good I uh, I think that it's uh, it, it, in terms of, of the uh, you know utility of it it uh, it does the job for me in terms of its day-to-day -day use in terms of functionality uh, I for the most part have, have not really had a problem with it at all um, and this is squaring up to be uh, on a par with DuckDuckGo. Um, and I really quite like DuckDuckGo as well. DuckDuckGo are really good open source citizens. So it's certainly not worth writing them off completely uh, as a search engine. They release their, like, their Insta search. They've released quite a few things uh, open source, including their neat little app for Android. And they release that on the F-Droid store as well. So it's one thing going open source, but then it's releasing your open source software on an open source platform. That's double points as far as I'm concerned. So DuckDuckGo do um, a fair amount of good open source work. So this isn't a criticism or slide against them in any capacity whatsoever, uh, but they haven't open sourced everything that they've got. They do say that they kind of, or they're hinting it that they intend on doing it eventually, rolling it out over time. But we've heard that promise a few times too many times before and if there is too much you know uh fiscal value in that intellectual property I, you know i guess i can understand keeping it under wraps you know it's it's like uh, as much as i love open source open source does have to think about profits generating profits in a way that uh, uh more profit driven entities don't because it's it's a given but with open source software, um, there is just so much of an open field. Some open source projects are big, uh, you know, multi-million pound operations. Some of them are just like, you know, one person in their home office operations and different operations require different amounts of funding. So obviously when it comes to the open source world, and the open source world, of course, is driven more for 
uh, problem solving and the the greater computer techie community rather than the profit mo uh, model being front and center as well. Now, of course, that's not to say that money isn't important. Of course, money is incredibly important. Hardware doesn't pay for itself for a start. So, um, so anyway, yeah, um, basically, sometimes open source needs to uh, uh, to uh, to think in that dimension. And I think. When we start talking about federated net or federation in general, the idea of uh, installing uh, things like Circs across lots of different servers and um, and things like Mastodon as well, where the idea is that you have lots of servers communicating with each other, it becomes a significantly more secure network. It becomes more difficult for for um, you know nefarious agents to to take it down or to to manipulate it. Um, and even you could run your own instance if you really, really, really wanted that degree of um, of security and, um, and and transparency that you could actually see your search engine uh, near enough work in action. Of course, uh, it does go through. Uh, uh, you know, it is a meta search engine after all. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's just a few rambly thoughts I had on search engines, and I did want to show you guys Circs because. Um, yeah, like whenever there's an open source solution, I I kind of like to uh, signal boost it whenever I can. Um, yeah, an open source search engine that encourages you to install it on uh, on your own space, which I think is uh, pretty cool. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.